you were pregnant with Caden through season four. Is that, is that right? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did mm-hmm. you um, uh, did you give them enough uh, heads up to let them decide if they were going to work it into the script or not, or how if they were just going to shoot around it? I mean, how did that? How does something like that come about uh, when you're involved <laughs> with a production? How does that work? You know, obviously, yeah. I'm sure you're not contracted to tell them. What, well, you know, if you're pregnant, you have to tell us. Um, how, how does <laughs> yeah. that How does that work so that they have time to work it into a story? Sure, absolutely. Well, I mean, we went into production. I believe it was like late February yeah. um, for this for the seasons, and I had a conversation with them end of January. Okay. And I remember the very first person who I reached out to was Amanda, Amanda Tapping. Ah. She had gone through a pregnancy yeah. uh, in SG1, and she was lovely um, and so, so helpful to me. And um, the day that I went in to tell um, all of our writers and uh, producers, etc., about my pregnancy, she actually um, showed up. She was there. And I remember she, yeah, it was so wonderful. She, before I went upstairs to talk to them, you know, she had a little chat with me. She gave me a big hug and and that was really wonderful. There was this really great camaraderie between uh, performers, but but I uh, I went upstairs and I, I let them know and, and it was not the direction that they were thinking that they were gonna go in for Taylor at all. But, um, you know, they had a little bit of time and, and they ran with it and they made some really, really great storylines um, from that, I think. Um, and I, you know, for forever, I'm, I'm going to be um, uh, grateful to them for, mm-hmm. for, how they, for how they grew the character through, you know, through that, through that season. Yeah, it's pretty great. O- overall in the role, you, you started off with a different wig and you ended up with one that was shorter. Oh, I um, started off with I had so many. <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had a whole bunch. <laughs> I had a whole bunch, yes. And the costumes. Um, <laughs> were, were they uh, an age to creating the character? Did they drive you nuts, both? <laughs> um, I, I loved going into the wardrobe department. I loved it. Um, and they they brought me in on on a lot of the decisions, you know, the fabrics and the colors and the, you know, the textures and the feel and how long and um, it was I loved that element and it helped me to inform who Taylor was, mm-hmm. as well. Um, the hair thing we can there gonna be like a whole episode on hair <laughs> because that was just like ooh, um, you know, we were talking earlier on about how Vancouver can be very very rainy, very very dark oh. and rainy. Um, my hair is naturally curly, so if we are out in the pouring rain, it wants to go. <laughs> it just does. It's like. Was your own uh, hair out of the question from from day one, or was there some consideration yeah, I mean, to trying to make it, it work? It was always. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, it was always a wig. Yeah. It was always a wig, um, which which I didn't mind because. Because of the fact that Taylor was meant to be human and yet otherworldly, it it kind of it kind of helped me to, okay. it it did, um, but yeah, I, I did go through a lot of um, incarnations of of hair yeah. <laughs> until we finally settled on one, and that particular wig was like something like ten thousand dollars. Hair's expensive. Uh, hair's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have a group of fans who have been wanting to get some questions answered from you oh, here. Cool. We have 160 concurrent viewers right now. So oh, cool. thank you so much for, for being here with us. And thank you, fans, for tuning in. Mm-hmm. Teresa McAllister would like to know. Um, and so we're going to kind of step all over the show at, at this point in different aspects more than I more than I did for my oh. questions. But I knew that this was okay, coming. Cool. Uh, did you have any input? for the romantic direction for Taylor, who uh-huh. of course ended uh, being with Kanan. Yes. Because yeah, the baby had to have a daddy, so. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, where, uh, did, did you have any input for that process along the way? Uh, no, actually I did not. I, I did not. That was something that, you know, they guarded in the in the writer's room. And I know they, they toyed a different, you know, does Taylor like so and so? Is there a chemistry over here? Is a you know, they they played with that element, but um, 
No, I, I, I didn't really have much to do with it. And I, I didn't have anything to do with um, the hiring process. Uh, oh, although, okay. Uh, no, although I'm, I'm, uh, I'm thrilled where it landed. Yeah. Um, Patrick Sabungi uh, is a is a wonderful actor and and uh, a generous performer, and so it was it was lovely that you know he ended up being Kanan. Um, but no, I didn't have anything to do with that. No. <laughs> if you did, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm I'm curious if if you did who. If anyone, well, I mean, obviously the, the baby would have had to have a father once we established that she was pregnant. Who would yeah. you have wanted it to be? Would you have wanted it to be Shepard or someone else from the Atlantis expedition? Or did it make sense that it was, an, that it was another Athosian? Um, yeah, boy, I'm stepping on minefields there. So I'm almost going to like stay out of it. Okay. But I, um, I think in the end, it did make sense that it was another Athosian. I think in the end that it, it did uh, due to you know, her, her attachment to her people, et cetera. Um, but, uh, yeah, that, that, that made sense to me. There was this, there was this speech that was never part of the, the show, but it was part of my audition. And it was, um, it talked a lot about Taylor's father and her legacy. And, and so that was always like a really big part of who she was. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, I know, I know fans have their, have their favorites. Oh boy, do they. <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Chris Gartland, uh, what was it like filming while pregnant? And have your kids uh, watched any of Atlantis? Oh, my goodness. Uh, thank you very much for that, that wonderful question. Uh, okay, so I remember so many times being pregnant and doing like these, you know, very physical, mm -hmm. physical scenes. And <laughs> having, you know, somebody from upstairs come down and be like, yeah, you know, when, when my wife was pregnant, she just slept all day. And I was like, <laughs> oh, God, I am tired, but, you know. I'm bringing um, home the bacon. <laughs> right? I remember one of our um, camera ops saying a similar thing. I had to, like, I had this scene where I had to, like, run and run and run. And he, he was like, yeah, you know, my, my wife liked to, you know, like, snuggle down when she was pregnant and you know and i like obviously if i had the opportunity to do so i probably would have done that too so that presented a challenge for sure there was um there was a big fight sequence and i'm forgetting i'm for, i wish i could remember the, the episode i should have i should have thought of that prior to this um, who was it with oh good grief uh, jewel okay uh, jewel and i yeah right? track, uh yeah. that was uh, the lost or the the lost uh yeah it's yes yeah just before she yeah. finds out. Exactly, exactly. And I had this big fight sequence and I knew I was pregnant, obviously. And it was like one of the biggest ones that I had to do ever uh, with so many different um, adversaries. And I, I remember crying and crying and crying on my way home thinking, oh my gosh, should I do something detrimental? I didn't. Caden's fine. Uh, <laughs> have my children watched the show? They've seen like a couple of episodes. They are unimpressed. <laughs> They're just oh my like, God. Uh, yeah, mom, whatever. Oh, They're just like, whatever. Thanks for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. You can find the full live stream shows on our YouTube channel or visit dialthegate.com for the complete schedule. See you on the other side.